how much of your past will you share with your kids? We're thinking about this today because Jessica Simpson revealed that her eight-year-old daughter, Maxwell, has started reading her memoir, Open Book. So, Misha, what do you think? Uh, her daughter's eight. <laughs> Um, frankly, I did write a memoir called Something is Always on Fire that I planned to have my sons read, like I wrote it for them. And I think if a child can ask the question, like if they have the intelligence to formulate the query, then as a parent, I am always willing to answer that question. Uh, as honestly as I can. Um, but at the same time, I have nothing to say to any parent who manages to keep their children alive and functioning. <laughs> I think that if you manage to stay out of prison and remain a parent, you have won. So I have nothing of any value to contribute to parenting because I am getting it wrong all the time. And I just think we're doing the best we can. Now, if Jessica didn't want us mm -hmm. to judge her, she wouldn't have told us if I want my sons to read the book in secret that you've, you know, let mm -hmm. this happen. It is a publicity tool to get us talking. Mm hmm. I am, um, you know, what I, I agree with what you're saying, Misha. I think, and Jessica Simpson too, if you're going to write something, you're going to write a memoir, then you're either all in or you're not. Um, at the same time, because I'm writing right now and I'm thinking about my kids and family as I write it, I think, you know, eight years old is a little, is a little young. And I'm dealing with Jessica Simpson's open book right now because in it, she talks about, you know, her addiction to pills and to alcohol and having this special cup that she would sip, you know, while she was going to her kid's school or while she was taking care of her kids, you know, kind of just to get her through the day. I think that might be a lot for an eight-year-old. Having said that, I mean, I've talked a lot about um, Blaze, both my kids, but Blaze in particular on the show and her struggles. And uh, I have always done that with her permission. I've always said to her, you know, here's what I'm thinking. What do you think? And she's always said, mom, I can't be the only one. So tell my story. Like if I can help somebody, I want you to tell it. And so wow. I will be again telling part of her story in this book that I'm doing. Um, and she's got everything to do with that, you know, but again, mm. I, I do believe in the truth telling it, but I think there's a certain age there, you know, are they ready at eight? I'm not sure. Yeah, I agree with everything you, you just said there, Mars. You know, I read this line recently and it said, children do not want parents to be perfect. They want us to be honest. And that's definitely what Jessica Simpson is giving us here. She's, and her daughter, uh, you know, I also agree that eight is a little young. Uh, you know, there's discussions of a lot of challenges, whether it was with um, alcohol or other issues that she was facing. Um, and there's a point to the book that I think is totally appropriate for her daughter who's eight. But then there are other things where I'm like, you know, she's not going to have uh, that ability, as you said, Misha, to sort of put that together and conceptualize what is otherwise a very difficult yeah. and complex idea, I think, for anybody to understand, let alone an eight-year-old. Um, but there's an age-appropriate way to approach a lot of topics for Marquesa's uh, sixth birthday, which was the last time any of us in the family got together before physical distancing kicked in, we went to um, a painting lounge in the city and all the kids were there. And then afterwards, you can imagine the mess. So we were all in the bathroom. All the girls were in the bathroom washing our hands and Marquesa read this receptacle and it said feminine hygiene products. And right away she said, mommy, what's a feminine hygiene product? And I was like, all the moms <laughs> froze. <laughs> Because now you have to say something, and my daughter doesn't accept a no answer. Answer. She wants an answer. So I very delicately explained to her and her other six-year-old cousins what a period was and therefore what a feminine hygiene pro product was. And the paint lounge instructor afterwards said to us, you handled that real well. And I simplified it. I gave her an honest answer. I did not yeah. lie, but I did it for a six-year-old. And I think that was the difference. 
Am I allowed I to say now. something? Is that is yeah. that okay? Because yeah. uh, I love it when they ask those odd questions. You know, children do not attach emotion to questions. It's just information to them. Everything that they learn about the responses that they have to certain things that we have decided are taboo, like as a social construct, like I tell my sons, of course we can be naked at home, but we have decided as a society that were we to leave our houses this way, it would be very uncomfortable for other people, so we don't do it. But make no mistake, other cultures feel differently about it. We have just collectively decided that this is a rule amongst us, and that is called civilization. And I think that they're just looking to see how they fit, right? Like, what are the mm -hmm. rules? But they, we teach them how to feel about things, make no mistake, but that's our baggage.